One of the most ancient of all the gods is in that of Ahura Mazda, relating to the floods and the ark. According to the constructions of Durinkuyu, to save the masses, this ancient god from Zoroastrian tradition could be the key to understanding many narratives that are held in great esteem across many different cultures. According to the sacred text, Ahura Mazda's prophet Yama ordered an underground city to be built to protect civilization from the coming evil winter. They knew winter was coming and that it would come quick and freeze fast. The gods warned humanity of this and this strange account is eerily similar to Noah and the ark. In the Bible, God tells Noah to build an ark and we have long assumed this to be a seafaring vessel much to great debate if that could even be possible, but of course, an underground city could maintain society in this regard, and at Dirinkuyu and other areas in this biblical region, they could have housed civilization for hundreds of years if needed, and of course, the evidence of these dwellings do exist. Zoroastrian religion is among the oldest religions on earth, and this deity is the oldest deity of this religion. One would suspect that the story in many of the sacred texts are very much the same. The same event that has spread out into the world in a non-believable mythological way. But the root of the stories all seem to have spawned from singular events that were witnessed by the people. The stories evolved into different religious contexts yet the fundamental and underlying truth remained. The discovery of the underground cities and why they exist can be matched to a biblical narrative in many religions that consider these regions of the world to be the cradle of civilization as we know it. As with all supreme deities, Ahura Mazda carries a long list of titles and characteristics. He is the supreme being in heaven and the uncreated spirit according to this religion. Beyond, apart, and without him, there is nothing in existence because he is changeless, moving all while not being moved by anyone, and this deity has no equal, and no one can take the heavens from him. He favors the just man, upholding the truth and proper behavior. Ahura Mazda was revealed to the prophet Zoroaster through a vision he had when he was 30 years old. When Zoroaster was 15, then, according to local customs, he was considered an adult and took up adult duties. Because he was born during violent times, he grew up questioning the concept of righteousness and the conflict of good versus evil. As a result, he left his home living in solitude between the ages of 20 to 30 on a mountain. When he was 30, he participated in a spring festival as a member of a priestly family, and one of his duties was to draw water from the deepest and purest part of the stream for the morning ceremony. At the river, he met the angel Vuhu Mana, and the entity asked Zoroaster, who he was and what was the most important thing in his life, to which Zoroaster answered that he wanted most of all to be righteous, pure, and wise. By this answer, he was granted a vision of Ahura Mazda and his archangels, from whom he learned the principles that would lead to the religion known late as Zoroastrianism. He looks like he's flying about in a vehicle, that much is plain to see, and we just wanted to touch on the subject today. The great symbol from this great religion captivates the imagination, and it would seem that connections to this deity and the building of the great ark in the form of Dirinkuyu could be very real. But what do you guys think about this anyway? Comments below, and as always, thank you for watching.